National Geographic Kids, Thomas Edison, Be a Super Reader, by Barbara Crane. This is going to be a good one, because it's Thomas Edison. Ready, kids? Table of contents. A great inventor. Have you ever watched a movie or listened to a recording of music? Have you ever turned on a light? If so, you can thank one man, Thomas Edison. He made all of these things possible with his inventions. In his own words, nothing is impossible. We merely don't yet know how to do it. Thomas Edison worked day and night with little rest to make his inventions perfect. Early learning. Thomas was born in Milan, Ohio on February 11th, 1847. That's the Edison family home in Milan, Ohio. When he was seven, his family moved to Port Huron, Huron, Michigan. In school, Thomas daydreamed. His teacher said he could not learn, so after only three months of school, his mother decided to teach him at home. Learning from his mother was fun. She taught Thomas to read. When he was ten, he got a book of science experiments. He tried every one of them in a lab. He built in the family's basement. Words to know, experiment, a test done to discover or learn about something. Lab, short for laboratory, a room or building used for science experiments. Four-year-old Thomas Edison. He was a darling young child, a working boy. Thomas was only 12 when he got his first job. He sold newspapers and snacks to people on a train. At the train station, Thomas liked to hang out with the telegraph operators. They sent messages to the other train stations. Watching them, Thomas knew what he wanted to do next. He would learn to be a telegraph operator. Words to know, telegraph, a machine that uses electricity to send messages by wire from one person to another. That's a fact. When Thomas was working as a newsboy, he built his own telegraph. He and his friend practiced in sending messages back and forth from their homes. Young Thomas in his railway, you know. In his time, when Thomas was a boy in 1850s, many things were different from how they are now. School. Children often went to school only in winter. They worked on farms or in mines or factories the rest of the time. Many of them did not go to school beyond 6th grade. Transportation. People traveled by horse and wagon or steamboat. The railroad was just becoming popular. Communication. The telegraph was the fastest way to send messages. Alexander Graham Bell had not yet invented the telephone. Toys. Toys. Boys played leapfrog and girl marbles. Girls played hopscotch indoors. They all enjoyed the snake game. There was a lot of shoots and ladders. <laughs> shoots and ladders. U.S. events. Thomas was 13 years old when Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860. Thomas Dave. First invention. Thomas began work as a telegraph operator when he was 16. He liked to work nights. During the day, he worked on his inventions. He got his first patent in 1869. It was for a vote counting machine to be used by legislators in making laws, but no one wanted to buy it. Oh, Thomas's vote counting machine. Words to know, patent, an official paper that says no one else can make or sell an inventor's work. Legislators, a group of people who have the power to make and change laws. Thomas hired people from all over the world to work with him. They helped turn his ideas and sketches or drawings into new inventions. Thomas did not give up. He worked on other inventions, such as ways to make the telegraph work better. Always working. Thomas was so busy working, he did not have time to think about getting married. Then in 1871, when he was 24, he met 16-year-old Mary Stelwell. He liked her right away, and they were married a few months later on Christmas Day. In his own words, there is no substitute for hard work. Thomas and Mary had three lovely, lovely children. Thomas loved his family, but he did not spend much time with them. He was always working. In 1876, he opened a lab in Menlo Park, New Jersey. There, he often worked all day and into the night. When he got tired, he took a nap on a black table. Thomas naps in his lab. The Wizard. Thomas thought his phonograph could be used to record books for the blind. One of Thomas's early inventions was the phonograph, which recorded sound and played it back. Ooh, phonograph. Thank you, Thomas. Thomas had an idea for a new machine. 
Finally, he was ready to test it. He shouted the poem, Mary had a little lamb, into the machine. The machine played it back. Thomas and his workers stayed up all night having fun with the new machine. They called it the phonograph. This invention made Thomas famous. People called him the Wizard of Menlo Park. Word to know, phonograph. An early type of machine for recording and playing back sound. Seven awesome facts. One, when Thomas was 15, he saved the life of a three-year-old boy, pulling him from a path of a rolling railroad car. Two, Thomas nicknamed his first two children Dot and Dash, the short and long sounds used by telegraph operators. Three, when Thomas and his helpers worked late, they had dinner at midnight, they ate and told stories, and everyone went back to work. Four, on the train where he sold newspapers as a boy, Thomas also wrote and printed his own newspaper, the Weekly Herald. It was the first newspaper printed on a moving train. Five, of all Thomas's inventions, the phonograph was his favorite. He called it his baby. It was Thomas's idea to answer the telephone by saying, Hello, Alexander Graham Bell wanted to use the word ahoy. Six, seven, Thomas and his lab staff filled more than 3,000 notebooks with ideas and sketches for his inventions. Lights on. Thomas was soon working on his next idea. He wanted to make an electric light. Electricity had been around for a long time, but no one knew how to light a house with it. Instead, people used candles or oil or gas lamps. A gas lamp. In his own words, I can never find the thing that does the job best until I find the one that don't. One of the filaments that Thomas tested. To make an electric light, Thomas needed something small, small, that could be heated inside a bulb to make it glow. This thing was called the filament. Thomas and his workers tried hundreds of things. The best answer was a thin piece of bamboo. In his own words, Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Thomas had a working light bulb, but he was not done yet. He made lamps and switches to turn the lamps off and on. He built power stations to make electricity. He used underground wires to carry that power to homes. It took him four years to invent something he needed to light homes with electricity. A power station built by Thomas's electric company. Changes. In 1884, Mary Edison died. Thomas was sad and lonely. Then, in 1885, he met Mina Miller, and they married a year later. Thomas had six children, a daughter and two sons with his first wife. Mary and another daughter and two more sons with his second wife, Mina. Inside Thomas's lab, Thomas's new home in New Jersey. They moved into a 23-room house in West Orange, New Jersey. There, Thomas built a new lab much larger than the one in Menlo Park. Always inventing. Thomas went back to work on his phonograph. He had invented it to record people speaking. Now he began making records so people could listen to music on it. He also invented a movie camera and a machine to show short movies. One of his many styles of phonographs, Thomas, one of the many styles of phonographs, Thomas built. One of many styles of phonograph, Thomas built. This one is from 1905. 1847, born on February 11th in Milan, Ohio. 1854, moved to Michigan. 1862, began work as a telegraph operator. 1869, got his first patent. 1871, married Mary Stilwell. On December 25th, 1876, opened his lab in Menlo Park, New Jersey. 1877, invented the phonograph. 1879, created a bulb that provided hours of light. 1886, married Nina Miller on February 24th, 1931, died on October 18th. Very sad. That's a fact. Thomas began losing his hearing when he was a child. He said it helped him be a better inventor because he wasn't distracted by noises around him while he was working. Thomas's machine for viewing movies. Thomas worked on many other inventions too. In all, he got 1,093 patents. That was more than any other inventor until the year 2000. A great honor. Thomas began experimenting when he was a boy. More than 70 years later, he was still inventing. He worked only a few months before his death on October 18, 1931. He was 84 years old. Thomas Edison on the right with President Herbert Hoover. People across the country were sad. At 10 p.m. on October 21, 1931, they turned off their lights for one minute. It was a way to thank the man who had brought electricity into their homes and changed their lives. Thomas Edison made the world a better, easier place to live. He still uses his inventions every day. In his own words, I think work is the world's greatest fun. So, be a quiz whiz. See how many Edison questions you can get right. Answers are at the bottom of page 31. When Edison was a boy, people A, watch television, B, talk on the telephone, C, use candles and oil, or gas lamp to light their home, D, traveled by plane. C is the right answer. Before the telephone was invented, the fastest way to send messages was by A, postal service, B, email, C, telegraph, D, steamboat. 
does be right the email. No, I'm just kidding. It would be the Telegraph. C. Three. Edison's first patent was for A. Telegraph. B. Phonograph. C. A movie camera. D. A vote counting machine. D. A vote counting machine. Four. Edison had blank children. A. Three. B. Four. C. Five. D. Six. D. Thomas was a busy boy with six children. Number five. Edison invented A. A phonograph. B. Ways to make the telegraph work better. C. A movie camera. D. All of the above. D. Six. Edison got blank pattern. About 3,000, more than 1,000, about 500, or more than 2,000. B is right. More than 1,000. People honored Edison a few days after his death by... A, oh, let me give you the choices. A, building a large statue for him, playing music on their phonographs. C, turning off their lights, or D, flying American flags. C, 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 turning off the lights. That was Thomas Edison, one of the greatest men of all time. So, experiment. A test done to ex to, to, to discover or learn about something. Lab, short for laboratory, a room or building used for science experiments. Legislators, a group of people who have the power to make and change laws. Had an official paper that says no one else can make or sell an inventor's work. Phonograph. An early type of machine for recording and playing back sound in the telegraph. A machine that uses electricity to send messages by wire from one person to another. Thomas Edison, genius, hero, amazing person. Goodbye.